Hi guys, it is Christina here. So today I have for you guys this video on these fall makeup trends for 2017. I did some research and I looked up some runway looks as well as flipped through some magazines and I've noticed some things that have been coming into trend and I wanted to share them with you guys because it is the fall time coming up. The summer is coming to an end unfortunately but I'm super excited to share with you guys all these new fall videos especially makeup looks and outfit ideas. If you guys are curious as to how to get these looks then keep on watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe and turn on that notification button if you guys want to stay updated as to when I uploaded nude videos new videos not nude videos <laughs> anyways I love you guys so much and I hope you guys have a great one happy fall and uh, good luck to all you guys going back to school I also have a back to school foundation if you guys want to know I love you guys so much and I did this brow look which is very natural, it's something that I would do every day basically. Um, I did a very light layer of foundation, not too much, a little bit of bronzing, a little bit of highlighting, but the lips is what really makes this look the look, the trend for 2017 fall. I did not line my lips at all and I left the lips pretty much with a gel tint first and then the gloss over top. Glossy lips are the new matte, basically. These are just some trends that I noticed on the runway and that I thought I'd share with you guys because I really like them. And for the bare eyes, it may not be for everyone. I'm not really someone who likes my eyes to look this bare because I hate my beady eyes. But yeah, so this is basically the first look. So for this next look, I did a glossy lid. I love this look so much. So first I took the shade Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek on this Morphe blending brush and applied that to the outer part of my eye to act as the transition color slash blending color. It does make blending a whole lot easier. Next I went into Eye Nod by Carity. Um, this is another eyeshadow brand that sells them by the singles in the pans. So I applied that on the outer part as well to aid in blending. After that I took this Urban Decay brush in the shade Cocoa Bear and dipped that in there and then packed it onto my lid for the all over lid color. And then to further blend it, I took the blending brush once again into Cocoa Bear to blend out from the center of my eyelid. I like how these eyeshadows are super blendable, especially. Um, so that made that easier. And then after that, I went into the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty palette and dipped into the shade Sunset to further blend out the colors and create that orangey effect on the outer part of the eye that is perfect for fall. I also applied the eyeshadow on the lower lash line and then finished it off with the gloss. The gloss here is the NYX Lid Lacquer. Um, it's super easy, it's in the shade clear. There is also a black one which maybe I'll play around for Halloween time, but as of right now, not really. Um, and it really does leave the lid looking pretty glossy. I'm pretty sure that you can use a, a lip gloss, but this one is safe for the eyes, so I wouldn't really venture off into using lip glosses just because it may not be safe for your eyes. By using my Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara, and that was that. Now, on to the next look. So for this third look, I decided to go for the lower smoky lash line. This is very popular now especially, but definitely for the fall because I did also see it on the runway during my research. So after applying some eyeshadow to my eyelids, I'm just going to be applying this Urban Decay 24-7 Gladden Eye Pencil in Perversion. It's a great pencil because it is very pigmented, but blends really well before it sets and then once it sets it will last for a while so we're just using this with a flat definer brush this one is by Luxie and then going in to this tartlet palette and blending that out with this dark brown shade keep doing this until you get your desired smokiness because the more you blend it out the better it's going to look here I'm using a pencil brush to do the job right now I'm just lining my upper lash line with some um, liquid liner. This was a very super easy look, um, but even here I had to go back and fix it the way I wanted to. You can be a lot more dramatic than I was here. I like it when it's a lot thicker, but here I don't really know why I was going so thin. <laughs> then I'm applying some fake eyelashes like so, and that's that. Oh yeah, and then I apply some liquid lipstick. This is a gloss by 
Too Faced. It's really cool, beautiful, gloss lips. Glossy lips are all the rage. For the next look, we are doing some halo eyes. Here I used this cool green color scheme. I decided to do this forest green um, color scheme just because it's different for fall, yet it still uh, fits into the season, and I definitely love it so much. It looks really cool. Um, so yeah, so first off, I started out with Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek to act as the transition shade. Then I went into the shade Dirty Martini for the outer and the inner parts of my eyes because that is where we want to focus the concentration of the matte green color. So you want to keep blending and using different brushes to fit into the areas of your eyes. Um, here I used um, some pencil brushes, I used a fluffy brush for blending. And working with that, blending and blending and blending as much as I could. There's no real precise way that I did do this look. I did just play around with it and made it look um, as blended as possible. So next for the middle, we wanted to conceal so that our middle color really pops. Here I used Jester, which is a foiled eyeshadow by Makeup Geek. It's a really cool green um, metallic shade. Metallics are also really in and just kept blending it out. I further applied some winged liner from my Makeup Forever Flash Palette. I used a black shade. I don't really like this black shade, but I ran out of regular eyeliner, so I had to make do with what I had. I also filled in my tight line and my waterline and then applied some mascara. I did some fake eyelash action, I put some glue on that. I also highlighted my inner corners and my brow bone with this Maybelline highlighter. This is the Master Chrome um, one in the shade Molten Gold. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much and I cannot wait to share more videos with you guys, especially for more fall looks and back to school slash dorm room tour, slash college advice, stuff like that. I don't even know. I love you guys so much and have a great one. Bye!